size of our cars. All right, now that we've gone over. This place is great. All right guys, so today we're going to do the black tank and the gray tanks. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you're connected. Over here we got connected to the fresh water. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this valve on. And what, that, what we're doing now is we're putting water into our black tank. Now let me show you. Now, different different R, uh, different RVs have different inlets and outlets, okay? But ours has it right here. So this is this the water's going into our black tank right here, and it's it's spraying down inside there, helping break up the solids and all that good stuff. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull right here is is the handle. This is the valve handle for the black water tank. We're just simply gonna pull this now. It's it's going to dump out, and it's and it's, and it's going to do that until it until it slows down. It's going to just it's going to be a lot until it slows down. Um, now I've had people ask me on Facebook asking me questions. You know, um, how often should I flush my um, black tank? Um, and and it, and the and the answer is very simple. So because they were one, they were wondering because it, he, he was traveling alone. It was just him. But it's very simple, whether you're traveling alone or you have a family with you or whatever, it's rule of thumb is three quarters. Once you get three quarters of the way full in your black tank, you're gonna wanna go ahead and dump it and flush it every time. Um, so just keep that in mind, three quarters of the way full, or if you're gonna, or if you're just a weekend warrior and you're going out, I'd flush it before, you know, before putting it back up. Um, so anyway, so that now, once this slows down, see it's starting to slow down now. Okay, so we're getting close to it being completely drained. This is just the black tank now, completely drained. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back over here and I'm just gonna shut this valve. All right, so I shut that valve. And so now the water's still going into it. All right, so what we're doing is we're, gonna, we're allowing this black tank to fill up with fresh water because you want it to fill up to get all that head pressure to pull, to push out any solids that have been broken down and so we're gonna have to we're gonna give that a minute all right and uh, you, now your gray tanks um, if you're if, if you're at a place that's full hookups um, a lot of times it's good just to leave your gray tanks open and it and it automatically drains out now what you may find is on your gray tank on the kitchen side sometimes um, stuff from food from your plates and stuff gets down there it could get on the sensors giving you a false reading on your level it, you know like it, you you may know that it's that your valve is open and it may be showing three quarters of the way full it's not three quarters of the way full you you just have trash or something stuck to the sensor best way to fix that is go ahead and shut that valve allow that tank to fill all the way up and then and then open that valve and dump it all out you may have to you may have to repeat those steps several times, but that's okay. That's how that's how you get rid of that. Whenever you're breaking down, you're done camping and you're going home, um, and so you're putting everything away. You want to make sure that you flush your black tank, and then when you're finished flushing your black tank, then you'll you'll open up your gray tanks. That way, the whatever's inside your gray tanks mostly is going to be soapy water, especially like from your shower. Or, or from washing dishes, it's gonna be a lot of soapy water in there. And so that water, when you open that up, that water is gonna go through your stinky slinky here and it's gonna help clean all that out. That way when you are breaking down, taking everything loose, um, you may need to, once you take, once you shut all your valves and you break that loose, you may wanna spray some little extra water through it just to, just to finish rinsing it out, rinsing the soap and everything else out of it. And then, and then you can put everything away and as you go, and then, you, then you're good to go. Um, now, we've been filling this black tank again so we can, so we can flush it again, because that's you're gonna wanna do this several times, and, and, it's, and it takes a while, so you may wanna do some other things, just don't forget about it. Um, so 
now that it's been filling for a while, I'm gonna pull this this um, this valve again. Now that's going to that now that head pressure is going to push any, anything that was in there through it, and, and as you can see, it looks a lot cleaner than what it was than what it did earlier. So that's good. That's what you're looking for. Since it since it, it does look clean, um, what we're going to do is once that slows down, I'm going to shut the valve. Now this is very important that you remember this. When we shut this valve this time, we're going to wait about 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 45 seconds or so before I turn the water off. So what we're doing is even though that's because that's going to be empty now, but we don't want to leave the black tank completely empty, right? So see right now we're starting to slow down pretty good. That tells me that level is getting really low inside that tank, which is that's what we want. So. All right, so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to shut this black valve. All right, it's shut. Now, like I said, we're going to give it about 30 seconds or so, and then we're going to go over there. We're going to, we're going to turn that water off. Basically, what you don't want is to leave that tank dry um, because if you, you have any new solids go in there, you want, you want it to have, you want it to be wet. So I'm gonna say that's that's probably good. Um, it's probably probably close to 30 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shut that valve. All right. Now that we're done with that, now that's now we just did the black tank. We've we've um, we've dumped it, we flushed it, and now we've we've already prepped it for the next time. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna run what we have in the gray tanks through it to, to help clean out that the stinky slinky is what they call it. So right here, this is the valve to the gray tank in, in our kitchen. So I'm gonna pull this, and now it's gonna take a minute because it's gotta come from over here and go all the way around and then come out. It's going through the hose now, as you can hear it, see? So now that right there is all water from the uh, our kitchen sink come right over here to the other to your other gray valve and open it up too and right here is where that is on, on on ours now yours may be in a different location and that's okay you're just gonna have to find where those spots are but it's always going to be on this side of the, of the travel trailer or RV I'm opening this one up now that now that one just joined in with the other Now this, like I said, this is something you want to do whenever you're you're getting ready to leave, you know, and you're going to be breaking all this stuff down because you don't want to be handling you don't want to be handling nasties. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, so th this right here will help clean will help clean that uh, that line out for you, and that way, whenever and then when it finally stops. Um, now, I mean, like right now, it's doing this. You could actually go and start breaking other things down, but we're not leaving, so I'm not going to do that. We got a little bit of a trickle now. The, the water's still coming out, but it's a real, just a small trickle. So we know that the, these tanks are pretty much empty. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right over here, and um, this is, like I said, this is the the gray tank for our kitchen. I'm going to take this valve and I'm going to shut it. All right. Now it's shut and now we're gonna do we're gonna do the bathroom um, th now this is like for the shower and for the sink that's what this one here is for now we're gonna shut that one now that's shut so black yeah black should be shut too yep yep black shut so all three valves are shut now um, so this is the time when it's safe to go ahead and and break that loose if you know when you go to leave now you're going to want to put gloves on and that way you 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 know you if anything get comes out it doesn't get on your hands or anything like that so you're going to wear want to wear gloves when you do this when you do that so another helpful hint when you're on your travel day and you stop for fuel get yourself two large bags of ice break them up really really good and then pour them straight down your, your toilet, just like this. Pour it right in there, like that. 
All right, what that's going to do is that's going to get inside your black tank, and as you're driving, slowing down, going around curves, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, that's going to that's going to slosh around, breaking up any stubborn solids or toilet paper that's up on the sides. And then when you finally get to where you're going, go ahead and hook up and give yourself another good flush, and that's going and that should get the rest of that stubborn solids that didn't want to come out last time. I hope this helps. And if you have any comments or questions or concerns, just please put those in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. <laughs> okay.